Here in the Borgenbeck Technical Centre, we can test all characteristics of the clutch to ensure it performs to OE specification and tolerance. We have three main test rigs, the first being the cover rig. We test the three main characteristics of the clutch cover. The first test is the clamp load, which is the force clamping the drive plate when the clutch is engaged, allowing the torque to be transmitted from engine to gearbox. It is important we test the clamp load because if it was too low, the clutch would slip. The second test is the release load, which is the amount of force required to release the drive plate when the clutch pedal is pressed. We are checking that this is within tolerance, as if it were too high, it would give a heavy and uncomfortable pedal feel. While testing the release load, we're also testing the pressure plate lift. We're checking that the three drive straps holding the pressure plate are lifting parallel. When the clutch is engaged, there is as little as 1.5 mil gap releasing the drive plate. So we're checking that it lifts parallel because if it wasn't, the clutch would judder. The next test rig that we have is our drive plate rig. With this rig, we can test the two main characteristics of the drive plate. The first test is the torque capacity. The torque of the vehicle goes through the clutch and the springs in the drive plate are there to dampen the vibrations upon taking your foot off the clutch pedal. It is important that we test that because if it was too low, the clutch would simply break apart. The next test is a dimensional check, the clamp thickness and the release thickness. We're checking that is parallel because as mentioned, the tolerances are tight. This graph here is the torque capacity and this graph here is the compression curve which we use to check that the plate is parallel. Our third test rig is used to perform a life cycle test on our concentric slave cylinders. The operating conditions are mimicked in this rig it is fitted against a spinning clutch and heated to 140 degrees, which is the average temperature inside the bed housing. The CSC is operated 100,000 times and we are testing the integrity of the seal and it continues to hold pressure throughout its life cycle.